So even after Walking Ballista got printed, I have never lost a game to Tron with Infect. A match to Tron, I should say. Not a game, a match. Now that said, somebody is going to go back through my channel and dig to see, and I hope to God I'm not wrong, <laughs> but I don't think I've ever lost a match to Tron. Never. With when I'm playing Infect, specifically but that day. If somebody finds a video, most likely it's been altered in CGI. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> that's what it is. That's totally what it is. All right. That, that's a really lopsided match. Uh, okay, so what are these? What are these? These folks are... What, what, how did you describe... They're expert decks, expert level decks. They're basically one of Watsi's first attempts at what we now think of as Planeswalker decks or dual decks. And this one's the one for Torment, and that is the one for Odyssey. Shoutouts to Odyssey, the liftoff deck. Yep. So this one's already been open. The Odyssey yeah. deck's already been open. In this strategy game, you play with decks of illustrated cards instead of a board. I love how I love these old descriptions. Like they were still trying to get people used to the concept of a trading card game. <laughs> these collectible cards represent magical spells and fantastic creatures. New players should begin a game with <laughs> with a should begin with a <laughs> Magic the Gathering starter level game. My God, Grave Danger. Turn your graveyard into a resource. Okay, so they go from trying to explain what the trading card game is to we're calling the discard pile the graveyard right off the bat. <laughs> Turn it into a resource. The Grave Danger deck makes your opponents play, pay dearly for each card in your graveyard, leaving their creatures bruised and confused. What's yours say? Yep. Would you like to read it or sure. should I? Yeah, you you go for it. This one says the liftoff deck contains everything you need for successful uh, for a successful <laughs> launch, top drawer flyers, an expert ground crew to support them, and card drawing spells to keep things running smoothly. Starter level game, ready to play sixty card deck, a customized strategy insert, and a random Odyssey premium basic land card rule book not included. Mine says the same thing there at the end. Oh, this says expert level. I guess there's three levels. I don't know if you can see that, but there's... Yeah, there's starter, advanced, and expert. So this is an expert level deck. Like, you just can't be... Which means I'm probably going to do oh, very badly with it. Magic designed by Richard Garfield. Is that, PhD. Is that the cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine is blue-black. Yours is white-black. Or white-blue. Excuse me, white-blue. Yeah. That makes sense. Lift off. And I don't believe there's anything super Black. expensive in these things, so I'm gonna riffle shuffle. All right. Oh, fair enough. I hope I hope you're right. I'm oh right. my god, my how can I not? Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Just go back to the days when you. I just, was thinking that. We used to smoke cigarettes. Oh jeez, jeez. <laughs> it's just like open a pack of cigarettes. This I know that this, this is, is just like, like cheap. Like yeah. Cigarettes. This is cheap plastic, but I'm still trying to open it as if I can't rip it. Like when kids, you know how some kids will take the, most kids will take the Christmas present and just tear all the wrapping paper yeah. off? And then some, me, will try to just take it off and not try to tear the paper. Like that was part of the challenge, not tearing the paper. Yeah, oh that. yeah, no. I was a tear, tear, tore through. <laughs> like Tasmanian devil. Oh, oh this is the, 34 there's your foil land, land. look at that. Hey, foil island, looking good, looking right, good. I dig it, folks. And there's our torment card. Actually, that, that's the that's the rule, not the rule book, the uh, strategy insert, whatever they called yeah, it. Yeah, it's uh, basically uh, you can read that strategy insert and you will win a pro tour. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, I dig it. Once again, oh, uh, you know what? Whatever. What the heck? I I will get this. I will get this. I was born for this. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. We got there. Uh, we got there eventually. Sorry, Sorry folks. <laughs> you are ready. Ready to go. Ready to cut. Yeah. I, I can grab some dice real quick. I just realized, at least we know that there's one card in here, and that's a foil. Uh, basic land. Now, I'm, the fact that you riffle shuffled and got a foil, I'm trying not to use it. I'm trying not to use it if I can help it. I'm trying not to use it if I can help it. I probably should. <laughs> I probably he's offering me help. I'm just being stubborn. Am I offering you help? I, I mean, there's a knife oh, to he, your right. Demonetize. I mean, a, a butter knife. <laughs> a butter knife. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you not? Are, 
people, they montage you for opening plastic things with knives? Uh, I don't think they'll do that, Jay. Oh. Come on, Jay. That's mine. Uh, so there's a uh, island. Shoutouts to Island. Shoutouts to one of the most played cards in the game. I hear it's one of the five most played cards in the game. <laughs> All right. Island, 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 island. Have you seen these all the time? This is this is a typical Drago deck. Oh, and Swamp. Shoutouts to Swamp. All these old, extremely busy arts. I had never seen this art for Swamp before. Believe it or not, I had never seen this one. I dig it. It's like a bunch of dryads got petrified. And we've got two Tainted Isles. And then Aqua Amoeba as a three of. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Cephalid Illusionist. This card is a card in the fringiest of fringy legacy decks, and I am here for that. I am absolutely here for that. Uh, Cephalid Breakfast is the name of the deck, and it is <laughs> as dumb as the name is. Cephalid Vandal. Okay, okay. I should probably show you what Aqua Amoeba is. If you don't know what Aqua Amoeba does, uh, this is a discard outlet in some some old decks trying to get stuff in the yard. Otherwise, it's a 3-1, which it was in the day powerful for a blue deck. All right, making sure I wasn't missing something. Cephalid Looter, just a, a expensive Merfolk Looter with, you know, it's a 2-1. It's a I guess there's that. <laughs> Skywing Aven. Balshun col Collaborator. I was about to say Corroborator, but that's not it. That's not it. Cephalid Broker? You know, never mind. I was going to put them in alphabetical order, seeing a bit of an order at first, and I just realized Looter broke it. It didn't take until Looter before it broke. And then Cephalid Aristocrat. So when it becomes the target of a spell or ability, Let's see. Uh, put the top two of yours in the yard. Cool, except it's five mana, so it's not nearly as good as Illusions. Uh, and then we have Crypt Keeper as a two of. Shout outs to Crypt Keeper. Right, we have Organ Grinder. They got, they really nailed these metal album names, I guess. <laughs> it's a metal <laughs> album name? Yeah, it's something like that. You can see Organ Grinder in concert. Where's Mark when you need him? Mark, uh, P-E-A-Y, how does he say his last name? Pay. Pay? Yeah. Pay all the bills. Aha. Uh -huh. Plague, uh, Pallet Pain Bringer. Plague Bringer became, uh, don't even know. I don't even know. I should pay attention to the card before I take a look at it. And then we have Zombie Assassin, and I saw the next card, and I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be a good little boy. Uh, but then we have uh, Cookie Monster. <laughs> we have the Cookie Monster itself, Psychotog. This, this monstrous card, this monstrosity. That thing is a beast. It's great. We have Careful Study, the two of which I'm here for. I play that in Vintage. Yes, seriously. Obsessive Search. All right. I have two Compulsions. All right. So, sort through the cards in your deck, I guess. Uh, we have False Memories. Okay. False Memories. Now, let's see. Huh. Okay. It, it, for two mana, you get to sort through your graveyard. That's fun, I guess. Churning Eddy. Return target creature and target land to their owner's hand. So, when you get enough mana that you can cast it, you can start to out-tempo your opponent using it. But it's four mana before you get there, and that's a two of. Shoutouts to Breakthrough. Uh, <laughs> no, one, no one ever cast this card the way it's meant to be cast. It's always X equals zero, right? Draw four cards, discard your hand. Mm, yeah. Uh, I hear that's pretty good in some decks. Like, you know, I don't know, Dredge, Chainer's Edict. This art always fascinates me. Not I legal do and not... modern. No, not legal and modern. Diabolic Edict is, though, thanks to uh, Horizons, I remember. This art, dude. Oh, you're good. You, you, are you going? Well, I didn't want to get in frame. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you appreciate it, dude. Adios. You're a man. Oh, let me grab my cards. Yeah, that's important. 
Oh, yeah, I'll roll this one. And your, I'll do and my your best. water knife. More theft. And then, last and probably pretty close to least, Afflict. Three mana draw a card. I mean, there is a little extra text, but it's basically three mana draw a card. Well, actually, back in the day, minus one, minus one till end of turn was probably pretty real when creatures were a lot smaller than they are now. Now, everyone, uh, tell us what you think. Overall, how would you rate each of the following features of the Magic the Gathering Torment set? Use a scale from one to five, in which one means poor and five means excellent. We should wait. We should wait to do this until after we've played our game. And then send it in. And let's send it in. <laughs> That's great. All right. Bunch of text. I am sure that somewhere out there, there is a handy little PDF that has all of this. And if there's not, I'm going to hold it like this. And someone is going to take a screenshot. And, uh, and that is how you're going to figure out what this thing says. Yay! All right, cool. Now, in all seriousness, it's just a are you a new player? It explains the mechanics. So there's madness. It explains what madness is, what it used to be, what not what it is now. Madness has changed a bit. Uh, nightmares, the story, contents of the deck, which I could have saved you a little bit of time by just showing you that list if I had known. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Sorry about that. How to play the deck. Questions, bunch of phone numbers that are probably not good anymore. Oh, really? But I kind of, <laughs> I, I kind of want to. <laughs> All right. Sorry, wizards. I'm doxing you. Oh no. All right. But yeah. In all seriousness, this is. And then credits. Uh, original Magic game design. Richard Garfield. Shoutouts to you. I mean, also Mark Rosewater's in here, and who else do I know? Randy Bueller Jr. is in here, and oh. uh... You have waited on me entirely too long. Let me, let me, let, let's go, let's play. Let's, let's jam. It's what I'm going to do. All right, so, this is not at all shuffling, but, no, but <laughs> something like this. I don't this. think there's any, like, cards in here that are worth, like, the island, question mark? I don't even know about that. All right. All right. Something like that, I don't know. All right, so, anyone want to see me fail at doing exactly what he just did? Ready? The cardstock feels really good on these. Yes, they, they legitimately do. Alright, alright. Ow! <laughs> yeah. I think I restrain myself too much because I know that they're they're magic cards. But, but they, they have the feel of like a deck of cards. They do. They're not as... They're, they're sturdy. Yeah, they're sturdy. You ever, you I, ever I, feel I one of those Acorn um, credit cards? You ever seen there's a company Acorn. called Acorn? It's like a, you, you pay them, it's, a sa it's how you save money. You pull money out of your second account and they invest it for you in different ways. Oh, I have not, actually. And you can get a credit T1 card. T1 Glistrel, not sponsored by Acorn. <laughs> All right, you're saying? Yeah, but uh, they, their credit cards, like, they weigh like, they weigh like an ounce. Okay. Yeah, for a credit card, it's pretty significant. Yeah. You can throw it into a wall. My uh, my credit card has the cartoon picture of the Evangeline and me on it. Okay. It's, it's great. Every time she sees that, she's like, That's us on your card. Yes, yeah, it's great. Okay. This this moment of gushing about Evangeline brought to you by Nostalgia for her just two years ago. But that was half her life ago. <laughs> Alright. I give up. I'm not even going to bother with that anymore. Just F it. Let's just go. Let's just go. I, you're good. All right. All right. Who's gonna high roll? High roll. All right. I'll let you go first. All right. Oh, nailed it. Oh, good go. catch. Ah, five. All yeah. right. And a ten. Woo! I'll go first. Two to one. Story of my life. <laughs> I keep this, dude. This is a keep keeper. Oh, here's a good card. There's a good card played in some modern. Ooh. Modern. See any some modern I builds. will keep. This is a uh, not a modern hand. This is very much not. Uh, but I'm I'm on the draw and I have enough, so I, I'm gonna keep it. What you got? Oh, shoot, I did Land to go. Cool. Uh, seven, so two forests. 
You know that, that swamp I was saying I like so yeah. much? That one. End of your turn? I'm gonna peek. Go for it. I have. Look at target player's hand to draw a card. That is good. That sounds yes, good. Yes, it really It's a modern <laughs> card now. Tainted Isle, Swamp times two, uh, Amoeba, Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Uh, corroborate. Co I said it again. Collaborator and Painbringer. So I'll play Reveal. Okay. Seems good. Alright, untap. Okay. Peak seems really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do planes. I do like these lands though. Oh yeah. And I'll play Cephalid Scout. Oh no. He's, he's a 1-1 one, one flyer. Pass turn. Fair Lot enough. Lot of turn two power. I guess late game, when you're yeah. getting flooded, it draws you cards. Yeah, you can start Sad. sacrificing lands. Hmm. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. For each land you control, create a colorless treasure artifact token. Crypt Keeper. Alright. So it's a 2-1. And I can sack it to remove a card in a graveyard from the game. Pass the turn. Oh. Two ones. Hey. Come at me, bro. I'll come at you harder. Three. Still not going to trigger anything. Um, at least that's the plan. I guess I will pass the turn. Okay. I think you get in there for one damage, but I can also hold him up as a blocker. There is that. I just don't feel like sacrificing a land anytime soon. I don't know about risking the cookie monster right now. You already know about it. Mm-hmm. You do indeed know about the cookie monster. Le cookie monster. So this this is Odyssey Liftoff versus Torment. Grave danger. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Do you have a counter spell? I actually don't know the contents of your list. I do not. All right. Uh, pass turn. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna say that's good. I'm gonna try anyway. What does Atog say? Oh boy! Discard a card from your hand. Plus one, plus one till end of turn. Remove two cards in your graveyard from the game. Plus one, plus one till end of turn. Basically, this thing gets big. Cookie Monster gets big. All right. I'm gonna play Think Tank. Oh, beginning of your up. Oh yeah, yeah, you got it, dude. This is a thing right there, right? What, yeah. what else does that? Uh, it's a new. It's a card from from. Uh, What's well, a pioneer now? But it was a last standard for. Oh, uh, Search for Scanta. Yeah, Search for Scanta. So this is like the. Uh, a, uh, more expensive, worse version. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of cards went that way. For worse or for much worse? I mean, uh, no. Uh, I like old magic, but not all the non-creatures were more powerful. Mm. It feels like creatures uh, now are more powerful. Uh, not not all these stood the test of time. I like the artwork, though. The artwork's really good. It is, yeah. The Vidalkin were pretty sweet. Right. We're still at 20. The joy of no fetch lands. At the beginning of my upkeep, right. you can control 10 or more treasures in the game. Okay. Play another Swamp. Much Swamp, so wow. Hmm. We have PPTQ, we had 50 people, and uh, a blue-white con control player won the, won the game, and he said Peak was his, was the card that put in the most work for him. I believe it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna swing in for one. Would you like to block? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to take it to the face. All right. First blood. Uh oh, we tap him four four. Four. Balshan collaborator. All right. Uh, flying and pay black plus one plus one until end of turn. Power, gold, crackers. Every bird has its price. Okay. Right, and then I will pass the turn. Right. Untap upkeep. I'm going to keep my little top card in my library. Go for it. And I'm going to put that bad boy. Let me see what I got in my hand before I make this. this yeah, I'll oh. put that in the graveyard. I don't care about that. A, a seafloor debris. Oh, man. And I'll draw. I saw three from the century. 
<laughs> Seems good too. Um, yeah, I'm with you on that. That's not the greatest layout yeah. I've ever seen. Ooh. Even wind, wind. Did you say wind reader? Wind reader, yeah. Tar okay, flying target player reveals the top card of their library. If you pay one in blue. Okay. Isn't that the same guy from um, Rick and Morty? Isn't that the Birdman from Rick and Morty? <laughs> That's totally Birdman. That's gotta be Birdman. Folks, folks. We're taking votes in the comments. Press one if you think that looks like Birdman from Rick and Morty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. That's yep. pretty cool. All right. And I think I uh, passed so turn. Do you know what slivers are? Yeah, uh, let's they are creatures see. that all of them have a ability on them that say uh, all oh, other hello. sliver creatures have X ability. So one sliver might give all other slivers plus three plus Play a swamp. All other slivers get haste, double strike, trample. All right. Swing like this. Cookie Monster and Collaborator. Okay, so this guy you can just start discarding cards and he gets plus one plus one. That's the deal. This guy you can start just blowing him up. Yeah? I don't like this. I don't like it at all, Jay. I believe you. This is me not blaming you one bit. I'm gonna take it. Alright. I'm going to play Obsessive Search by discarding it for Psychotog. So, yeah, Madness cost. Oh, Madness, nice. Yeah. So I'm going to draw a card. That's its effect. Do do what I got to do. That seems good for one. Yeah, for one mana. Yeah. It's going to be one either way, but this guy gets a buff as a result. Yeah. All right, so now that's a 2-3. Oh, I'm sorry, you got to you got to grab the phone. Go grab the phone. And now... This pig knows what I'm thinking. We're back. I like it. Uh, you know what? Let's just dump four into our collaborator. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, right. feel so bad. So then, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So two, one, and then discard. One, two, three, four into its ability, and two on its own. I count eight. I have you at 11. All right. I'm going to pass the oh, turn. Um, I don't I'm going to upkeep. I'm going to. Path of See what you got. See what I got. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put it in the graveyard. Okay. Feeling Ooh. that. Yeah, Ooh. Anything better. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty far away from threshold anyway. Yeah. Even if that were. It'll help the next yeah. threshold card, but a, a two drop two one with a threshold mechanic. Yeah. In the face of, you know, a psychic pig is <laughs> not cool. You want cookie? Um, nom, 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 nom. I am gonna play Blessed Orator. Bless this orator. All right. <coughs> Other creatures you control get plus O plus one. That's right. It's almost as good as your discard effect. Uh, not at all. <laughs> Pass turn. <laughs> Can't argue with that, I guess. And I'm gonna do something. I think here in a minute. Ooh. Now I'm curious. Play yet another swamp. Folks, you watch me shuffle. If I'm going to get flooded, I guess I, it's good to get flooded on black mana. <coughs> All right, so you only have four cards to discard. That's it. That's what you should do. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Hit Sha. I'm going to block here and here. Okay. Well, you have two cards in hand? I have two cards in hand. I might have my own battlefield tricks, Jay. You might, you might. With these cards made of exemplary cardboard. Oh, yeah. You just Ooh, feel yeah. it. You can hear it. Hear it? ASMR. That's back when they did, they did it right back then. I'm going to dump twice into... Uh, collaborator, so it would be a 4 4 against your 3 4. Okay. And. I, what am I going to discard? I'm pretty sure we're at the point where Amoeba does exactly jack all, so I'm going to discard into Psychotog the Amoeba. Uh, so now it's a 2 3 against your 1 2. Alright, prize your damage. Okay, what you got? Target creature I control gains protection from the color of my choice. I'm going to choose blue. 
Ooh. And I get to draw a card. This is Shelter. Hey. Yeah. It's a scantily clad individual <laughs> there. You do what you gotta do. Yeah. There were some old Jeez. cards that didn't cards. didn't mind so much. Yeah. I mean, Earthbind yeah. being an extreme what example. Is, what is this right here? It's uh, the, the like. These are the uh, it's the protection from color of your choice. I don't oh, know. Is, that, is, she, is this individual behind a shield, like an energy shield? That's what I'm seeing. That's what I think it is. Can, is this individual wearing pants? Uh. Demonetized. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe this individual is in a porta potty. Oh dear, something. <laughs> like the the old fantasy stuff where you're uh, oh, after combat. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah, okay. no, so that one prior to damage. This one dies. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna draw the card. This goes through. Draw a card. Nice. So I will play an organ grinder. It's a three one. Tap, remove three cards in the grave, my grave, from the game, from the game, target player loses three life. I like this artwork. Yeah. Was this like around the time when they started getting like super serious about their... I think they were edgy before that. I don't know about serious. <laughs> this is pretty edgy. I mean... Yeah. Don't you think that's edgy? Something like that. Oh, that word right there. That is... That has to be edgy. Yeah, thank you. To answer your question... What are you doing? I think that... Uh, a past term, by the way. I think that... So you know how it makes sense if you're trying to be acrobatic, you're not going to wear a ton of armor? I yeah. think that's what this person's doing. That's what I'm going with. That's my personal headcanon. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. That's the best explanation that I've heard so far. It's like the opposite of, like, boob armor or something. <laughs> you don't wear armor at all because you don't plan on getting hit. <laughs> I mean, it's, there's something on the leg there. Is that a garter? What is that exactly? I think it's like, you know how the... Oh my gosh, show, show my childhood. The ninjas from Naruto had like a kunai on their leg. I'm going to pretend that's what it is in my personal headcanon. <laughs> I want to see a blown up version of this. Like, there's obviously yeah. more to this artwork. Like, what exactly is going on here? You know, Cleric on Vec was actually cropped really, really poorly. There, this could very well be... You know, there could be more art around it we're not seeing. And what's up with that shirt? That's definitely like a 1990s... Girls, oh, yeah, girls just want to have fun, like, <laughs> kind of shirt. It's a Cindy Lauper kind of thing going on there. I, I have no idea. The, the more I look at it, the more fascinating in all the w strangest ways it is. Like, I really feel like that shirt is, like, indicative of the, in the early 90s. Uh, who's the artist? Is this, a uh, no, it's Christopher... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, it, uh, is it like artist self-insertion? I'm going to guess probably not. Alright, that's, that's a card, I guess. That's a card. Uh-huh. How's about... I'm going to swing like this. Come at me, bro. Alright, what you got? Um, Matt, target player reveal the top... Card of the our library? I don't think yeah. I reveal it to all of us, right? I think it just reveal it to it you. It just says player reveals the top card. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. I have an island on top. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, because it's not look at, it's reveals. I'm going to double block here. I just I just can't take any more damage. I'm in a Blocking line. here and blocking here? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to actually pay two life to return. Maybe a double hand. block here. That's what I'm going to do. Double block. Double block Psychotog? Yep, and remember there is an additional two That's points right. of defense. Total That's here. right. So I'm looking at a 3-4 and a 2-2, two, two, so I need to make six. You have to Fun discard fact, everything. This deck can make six, folks. So we're going to discard you, and now it's a 2-3. Discard you, and now it is a 3-4. Discard you, and now it's a 4-5. Discard you to discard everything except island. What? You know, I don't actually have to do that. I can save it for organ grinder. Uh, wait, let's see. This is two. How, how badly do I want to do this? I want to do this so badly. So two. We have effectively six extra here. That's eight. And then yeah, okay. Never mind. We only we're only gonna do it once. Uh, we're gonna. Exile 2, leave all the blue cards. Blue cards get to party. Uh, so we used Psychotog 1, 2, 3, and then the last ability once. So it is a 5, 6. 
we have a 5-6 rockin', and guess which one it's gonna kill? The bigger one. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we've got 6 going into uh, Balshun Collaborator, so that it's an 8-8, eight eight because that's a fun card. And then, after damage, we're just gonna exile the last 3 to make you lose 3 life. I lose 3 life? Am and I dead? Yeah, you're at, you're at Xaxes. 8 oh from my this. Oh goodness! 3 from the grinder. Alright. Yeah, it was it was edgy. <laughs> so pretty uh, good. That's pretty good. I think Torment uh the Torment set wins quite uh, handily here. Uh, I drew my cookie monster. Can we take a look at your deck? Yes, there's it's uh, definitely about threshold. Oh. Threshold and tap and creatures down. I hear those are I hear those are pretty good. Threshold is a mechanic I wish they would bring back, but it was confusing for newer players, uh, so we have Looter and Orator, Think Tank A, then we eaters. <laughs> I was going to try to do like a, a song for it. Looter and Orator, Think Tank A, then we eaters. Wind Reader. Shelter Cat. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Hands is Shelter Sable, Let's Go. Visionary. C4 Debris. Peak Island, Island, Island. Play Plays, Island, Island, Island. Play Zephyr, Lud Looter, Syncopate, Mystic. <laughs> I was about to say Mystic Peanut. <laughs> Mystic Pennant. Okay, okay. Screw it. We're not doing that anymore. Forget it. Okay, never mind. Here's your deck, folks. Here's your deck. There's a deck I list give up. online. There's a deck list online somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to have to listen to me sing all this off the top of my head. But there's Rebecca Gay. She's pretty good. I hear she's an awesome artist. I made artist a three-syllable word. Let's go. Uh, artist. Uh, artist. <laughs> oh, oh, best art. Best face. I gotta love my foghorn leghorn. Look, look at that face. Yeah, face only yeah, a mother can love. Yeah. And he has it, he has it in there again. He's, he's haunting. And he has it in there again. He's haunting us. <laughs> All right. I dig it. I, I I like the deck. I do. Next time I'm over, let's jam this again. Maybe switching the deck. Sure. Yeah. That sounds like fun. But for right now, the camera's almost out of space. If we hurry, we can do one. Let's do it. Really quick. All right, let's, let's right. go. We got the speed magic. Right. Let's go. Speed magic. All right, all right. It's here. Just I'm gonna make myself do Ready? it. Make myself do it. It's, a, it's only a five hundred dollar deck. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. My first legacy tournament. I had I had tigers in my deck, and my second round opponent decides that he's going to do this. Wait, I'm. I'm not exaggerating by much. Like there was a clapping noise when he was trying to shuffle my deck. Yeah, that's that was, just that's that bull loney, Jay. Yeah, in legacy at a legacy event. That's when you you raise your hand and you scream, Judge! Judge. <laughs> and you make sure just a little bit of spittle flies out <laughs> when you do that. It's kind of like yeah, just, yeah. Flies Once you there, get your deck back right in his eye. Oh, oh. All right, that's enough of that. I thought you were talking right, about cool. lands on his cards. Oh, no. His thousand dollar cards. Oh no. Uh, who went first last time? Uh, you did? I did. So okay, did I'll you. go first this time. If we're only going to get two in. Hey, we'll keep. Keeping it. Hey, let's go. All right. Round, <clears throat> whatever. Round two. Fight. Past Island. Draw. Is land. Is land. Um, yes, it is. Past turn. Okay. Okay. I do. I'm not quite sure what I do though. All right, Craig Wesco. Yeah. <laughs> Mystic Visionary. Past turn. The non-flying flyer. The mm. Avon are heralds of divinity. The greatest glory is to join them in the sky. Compulsion. Oh yeah. Discard a card. Draw a card. Sacrifice it. Draw a card. Let's see. Hmm. It's you for two in the air. Oh, wait, no, it's not in the air. I don't have threshold yet. Threshold yet. Ow, 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 ow. I'm down to 18 life. Now I'm gonna untap and draw a card. And I'm gonna play a land. And I'm gonna. He hasn't been drinking, folks. This is pure fatigue. This is pure tiredness. And I'm gonna play. Dark 30. Psychotop. Not you again! No! He's a beast in this no. format. He really is. Dude. Cookie and Monster's pretty good. Pass a turn. Mm -hmm. Cookies. 
me want cookie 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 okay face only a mother could love yeah probably not even that face honestly well, yeah if that yeah. comes out to be fair i mean i don't know what it's doing like is it coming out of something it's coming out of an egg <laughs> like what is it doing right there what's going on in this picture i think i think he's like he's just like honey i'm home i'm gonna take a look at your hands yeah See what you're working with. I got that. I got that. I got that. I got that. Ooh. And that. So, oh, this is careful, a fine hand. Careful study. Obsessive search. Chainer's edict. Breakthrough. Yeah. Uh, not cool. Not cool, bud. Not cool. That's absolutely cool. And this, yeah, and this yeah, was yeah. in my hand. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll play reveal. I'm Just going to make it where your psychic dog can't attack. Why? Kirtar's desire. He just so stares at you with those eyes, and now you can't attack. And when I get threshold, you can't block either. Burden. Okay. <coughs> oh, uh. And oh, are you putting it on my Psychotog? Yeah, I'm putting it on your Psychotog. Oh, he can't attack? Can't attack. Dude. Yeah. All right. Can't do it. Done. Got him. Alright. And then. Swingy ding a -ling. Nine, because it can still block. Okay, good. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Bring it. Um, I, I guess I'll wait. Pass turn. I've already played a land, so I'm not going to get an, a land drop out of this anyway. Hmm. This seems good. Oh, uh-oh. Land for turn. Oh, no. We, we will have to hurry. I'm going to say Chainer's Edict. Oh, no! Yeah. Uh, Visionary. Vision is scary. Pass turn. Whack! All right, draw a discard. Discard embolden. Yeah, that's a good. That's a cephalid looter right off the rip like that. Is good on turn three. I hear it's okay. I'm not going to be attacking it's anytime a, too soon. It's a but great turn three play. Okay. I can't attack at all, so there is that. I think there that, is definitely that. I think that's pretty much the win condition of this deck. <laughs> yeah, here attacking's okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. All right. We're going to say uh, Puppeteer. Yep. And I'm actually going to do this now. Looter, draw, okay. discard, ooh, ooh, think tank. All right. So that I can play a land. And does that change anything? Nada. Pass turn. I like that. I don't blame you. I am going to pass the turn. Okay. Draw. Let's see. Let us uh, tap down your Psychotog. Okay. Hit you for two. Uh, in response. Uh oh. I'm gonna tar uh, uh, <gasps> cast a flick oh, no! targeting. That yeah. guy. Shelter? I draw a card. Do I still get to draw a card? No, because I, I make it an illegal target now. That's yeah, you're, you're not wrong. All right, so I'm still taking two. Yes. I... Let's see. I guess I will play a Nomad decoy and pass the turn. And it, like, I, it, I take as well as... It's another good one. And Zombie assassin. Oh no. I'm gonna pass the turn. Oh, Remove sorry. two cards in your graveyard and it from the game. Destroy target non black creature. It can't be regen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, good news is, in order to do that, he's got to exile oh, himself, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's. That's a thing, I guess. Uh, let's see. That's... that's odd. I don't dislike it. I guess this time we're gonna loot. What do you even do? Okay, that's odd, but we'll take it, I guess. Oh no, that's a terrible card, actually. Why is this card in my in my deck? Alright. We're gonna go Mystic Crusader. Uh, protection from black and red. Screw this guy. Okay. And then Threshold gets plus and plus one in flying. Nice. And then I will... 
Um, pass the turn. Alrighty. Untap, upkeep, draw. Draw your last pathetic card, right. Yuki. Chainer's Edict. Uh, well, I do have to sack one of these guys. So, in retrospect, that was the thing this guy was supposed to do. Oh, I got it. In retrospect. Oh, it's fine. It's it's probably going to end up being... I'll, I'll tap Puppeteer first to tap down Zombie Assassin, but then I'll sack the Puppeteer. Gotcha. Alrighty. Alright, that's the turn? That's the turn. Alright. So now it can't block either, because Threshold. Threshold is putting in some work. Alright, well, that's a thing. That's a thing. I guess. Um... Swing with Looter and Crusader for five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, I'm gonna block over uh, here. Remember? Can't block? Remember, can't block. I've got Threshold. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm taking five to the face. Alright. For my next trick, I will play a Cephalid Scout. Mm. And I will pretend I know what I'm doing and pass the turn. Alright, I'm going to pay two. I'm going to discard a card from my hand. Yep. I'm going to discard Obsessive Search. Hey! I'm going to cast it for its madness cost. It's blasphemy. So I'm going to draw... This is madness! I'm going to draw off the Obsessive Search first. Yep. And then I'll just... I'll draw off Compulsion. Uh-oh. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and you've got a... You, uh, dis oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. I'm, I got gotcha. you. I'll keep draw. Nice. Okay. Alright. Um... Eight minutes on the cot. All right, I'm gonna play. Uh oh, let's do this. I'm gonna play Churning Eddy, return target creature card, and target land to their owner's hands. All right, what would you like to return? I'm gonna return Psychotog. Ooh. And I'll return this guy. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Psychotog back Psychotog to hand. Psychotog back to hand. He untaps. Yeah. Right, he untaps at this point? Yes. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. All right, well then. Oh, I, I guess. Did I. Oh, I guess I should have tapped this thing first. Oh, Psychotog is coming, coming out. Yes, it is. Uh oh. Oh, not again. Oh my god, not again. All right. Play this tapped. Guess we're going to tap you down. Tap you down, yeah. bud. And, uh, One, two, three, four, five, six in the air. Okay. Uh, play a zealot. And then this is a uh, three five flyer. Nice. Pass turn. Yeah. All right. Untap. And give that thing haste. Okay. You're in good shape. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna play the Psychotog. Uh oh. Oh no. What keeps tapping me down? Oh, uh, this guy. I think he's yeah. dead either way here, but. Yeah, because um, it has threshold, so it can tap both creatures. I just don't have enough to. Um, one, two, three. I'm gonna draw four cards. Do you have. Yeah, you do have an island. Yeah. So yeah, for two. Draw four cards okay. and discard all but two. Not counting the breakthrough, of course. Yeah. So breakthrough goes away. Um. Off zero mana, is there anything you can do here? Um. <laughs> yeah. Is there zero mana? I, I, I don't think there is. I haven't played a land for turn. Oh, you haven't? Okay. All that goes there. Uh, all right. All right. You have not played a land. That is no. true. So land one drop. Land, and pass the turn. All right. All right. And tapity 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 tap. Use its threshold ability. Tap them both down. Tap both of them down. Yep. Tap In two target response. creatures. Uh oh. Oh I'm no. Tap him down. And I'm gonna kill. Who's got? Protection. This is the three five. This is the protection from black and red. This is the big boy. This is the big boy. All right, I'm gonna exile two cards, I believe, in this. Yep, you got it. And destroy that, and then he taps down. Yes. And then uh, I still got you because I got six. Oh no no, what you got? Obsessive search. Oh oh, oh for another oh, land. Oh. 
<laughs> MLG plays. It was a Milliken and Hallowed Healer. So Chris, let's go back to this little survey we had <laughs> real quick. I think well, it all depends on who's out. playing the Yeah, that's fair. Right? Oh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, how would you rate this on a scale of one to five? Card names. Um, I like the card name Cephalid, uh, but every time I say Cephalid, I'm reminded of Syphilis. Okay. So there's yeah. that. I'm gonna say the card names are great and that old like that have that old fantasy feel to them, but they're hard enough to pronounce. I'm gonna give it a four. Flavor text. I did not pay attention to almost any of the flavor text here. I'm gonna give him a benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give him a five. Art. I love the art. The art looks great. Yeah, all the art. Every bit, the lands, every bit of it. This is just this was I guess a period in time where they really just yeah. started focusing have I mean I don't know, but I mean, it's just good. The rule for me is Rebecca Gay is in here, so I'm going to give it a 5. If if it were a mono Rebecca Gay, it'd be a 10. Yeah, about a 5. What about Therese Nielsen, right? I don't know about any Nielsen arts in here. There could be, but I don't I don't know. I love her art. Like I, I first liked her art when I was playing a Dark Age of Camelot. Before the, the sorry, before the card before the yeah, card runs out. Card abilities. Threshold is great. I like Threshold. Uh I don't know why it's as hard as it is for some people to get, but it is, so it's never coming back. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. I love it. I love it. it was a lot of fun. I want to do it again. What do you think about it overall? That's the last one. Overall, on a scale of one to five? Yep. I'll give it a, I mean, for the time period, I don't know. I never played during that time period, but I imagine it was pretty good. So I'd give it a four. What What do you think about it today, tonight, Versus this evening? Versus, you sit down and play against, play against a modern deck with this? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is, you can play a Planeswalker deck against one of these decks and I think you win. <laughs> okay, here's a great question. One of our goals is to make cards for which the art, ability, story elements, and names all make sense together. Which Torment card, if any, didn't make sense as a whole? Okay, that's a great so question. I got the Torment Tor right Yeah, here. yeah, you, did, you, you did. take a look oh, at no, it. No, 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 we'll, we'll both go at it. Um, didn't make sense. Did it make sense not to live for fun? Okay, okay. Did it make sense? Uh, it's got to be one of the like crazy random Cephal... Uh, Cephalid Vandal, probably. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a Shred counter on it, then put the top card of your library uh, into the grave for each Shred counter. Okay, it makes sense, but it's a Shred counter. Aqua Amoeba? Like, uh, Morg Theft. Okay, that that's a kind of a real card. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a real card. That's a real card. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know. Island. I don't get island. Island makes no sense to me at all. Just, all right. Yeah. Looking at the rest of those. Yeah. Yeah. What we? Uh, oh my goodness. There's so many questions here. Which torment card is your overall favorite? Which torment card is your least favorite? How did you learn to play the Magic: The Gathering trading card game? Uh, if you were self-taught, which product did you use? Da da da. How much do you spend on magic in a typical month, Chris? Oh jeez. Oh man. Eyes get wide. My eyes get wide. A lot. I mean, yeah. Thousands yeah. and thousands of dollars, I guess. One million. One million dollars. When did you start playing? Did we already ask that? Okay. When? Uh, which of these magic products, if any, have you purchased? A bunch of old stuff that doesn't exist anymore. Which of these was the first TCG you played? Okay, here we go. Starter Magic the Gathering Portal, Other Magic the Gathering Product, MLB Showdown, oh, yep. Yu-Gi-Oh, nope. Star nope. Wars, Pokemon, Harry Potter, or Other? Other. Date of birth, gender, when did you purchase this? Which of the following do you collect? Baseball cards, action figures, other TCG cards, miniatures, comic book stamps, beanie babies, magic cards, coins, other sports cards. From which of these magic sets have you purchased products? Using a scale of 1 to 5, which 1 is novice and 5 is expert, how would you rate your s level of skill in magic? Negative 12. How soon do you typically make your first purchase of a new expansion pre-release? How quickly do you usually buy all the cards at a new expansion? Never. How do you typically purchase cards from a new expansion pre-release? How do you most like to win? In fact, uh, where do you play the magic TCG? In fact, how do you... How do you... Uh, how... Do you do any of the following things? Purchase or subscribe to Inquest Gamer. Shoutouts to Inquest. Read news groups. Go to conventions. Participate in an organization. Play regularly. Are you interested in receiving blah blah blah? Which of the following blah blah blah? 
following magic events to you. Here, you know what? what? Here you go. Here you go. You got it. Folks, I'm just going to put this thing up. You can just you can just read it here. 1080p. Pause. Do what you got to do. I will see you all later. If there's any space left on this camera. Bye-bye.